for Draymond's second technical? Uh, yeah, at halftime, uh, uh, Ben Taylor came out and told me that uh, it was a mistake that uh, he didn't realize that uh, or that uh, John Butler didn't realize that Draymond was yelling at his teammate. He thought he was yelling at him. I understand people make mistakes. I'm sure you'd say the same. How did it impact the rest of the game that Draymond couldn't play in the second half? Well, I mean, obviously, um, Draymond is... Uh, you know, one of our best and most impactful players. So uh, it hurt us, but we were playing very poorly to that point uh, anyway. So um, I'm not going to talk about the officiating. I'm going to talk about our, our poor play. Um, we we just foul constantly. Um, you can't win. We're, we're dead last in the league in fouls, I think, and free throw attempts allowed. Um, and you can't win games when you just foul, foul, foul. You're, you're constantly having to bring the ball up out of the net after the team shooting free throws. You can't build any rhythm at all. We had four fouls in the first 55 seconds of the fourth quarter. Um, so we are who we are, and I, I obviously have to do a better job. Um, we're undisciplined, and uh, we've got to find a way to defend without fouling, obviously. What is the main issue, would you say there? Because like you said, you're trying to build this defensive, you know, habits at. Right, right. Clear over fouling. What's the problem? Uh, mindless reaching, mindless um, decision making um, defensively. I mean, we, you know, we've got a, a very long and athletic uh, team and we've got an opportunity to be very good defensively. I've been touting our defense, uh, especially since Draymond came back. But play after play, you got um, you know guards getting into the paint, and you know instead of having to shoot a floater over James Wiseman or Draymond Green, we're just hacking guys uh, from behind right across the wrist as if we're gonna uh, get a steal or something. So we're just totally undisciplined defensively. Um, generally, we play hard, and I love our guys' effort. But um, you know, I told them the other day that it's hard to win in this league night after night um, on talent and emotion. You can't count on that. There's going to be nights where you go nine for 38 from the three-point line. Um, and there's going to be nights when you're tired and you're on the second night of a back-to-back -back and you don't have the same juice. And so the way to win those games is by executing, taking good shots, having good defensive balance, uh, defending without fouling, rebounding, being solid. So. We are not that team yet, so I'm hopeful that we can get there. But right now we are, uh, as I said, dead last in the league in free throws allowed, um, fouls, uh, rebounds. So we are not a solid team. We're, uh, we can be a good team, but we have a long way to go. Uh, hi, Steve. Carlos Ramirez. <clears throat> Sorry, Carlos Ramirez, NBC Bay Area and Telemundo. How can you get a rhythm on a game that has 58 fouls called? You can't. You can't. And, and when you're in the game, do you see, I mean, I'm looking for a parallel. I mean, when you're in a baseball game, you see that the ref might have, and the umpire might have a different strike zone. Do you, do you see refs having different foul zones or ways of calling the game and do you tell that to a player like okay let's have a different approach or just go out and play in baseball if the ump calls a strike it's a strike if, if he calls a ball it's a ball nobody's reaching the catcher's not reaching and raking the pit the batter across the arms we are raking people across the arms we are grabbing people by the waist coming off uh screens we're fouling it's, it has nothing to do with the refs uh, it has to do with us. So we practice uh, defensive fundamentals every day, <clears throat> and it's, it's obviously not enough. So I've got to think of some way to get across to these guys uh, you know, how we're going to defend. And maybe it just means if a guy reaches, he comes out you know, and forget the defense or the uh, rotation. You know, just take a few games where if you reach, you come out, and we just have a uh, bunch of guys filing in and out of the game, and if they reach, they come out, and then another guy goes in, and 
next guy comes out when he reaches, and that's the only thing I can think of because we practice defense without fouling every day, and it's it's not happening. So we've got to somehow find a way. Kendra Andrews, NBC Sports Bay Area, you were just talking about different tactics to try and improve some of those things. And earlier on in the season, you said you would have to adjust your coaching for this kind of team, a team that's trying to work their way back up in the league. How are those adjustments going for you? Do you think that you need to make more adjust adjustments moving forward? Yes, the main adjustment I need to make is to get across to the team that we can't defend without fouling or we're not going to be good. So I have to figure out what that adjustment is. Um, hi, Steve. Uh, when Draymond Green and Steph Curry aren't in the game, who do you look to be the catalyst of your team? Well, the reason I put Nico Mannion in the game in the third quarter, I was looking for a spark, and he's an excellent passer. And um, with Draymond out, uh, obviously Steph is uh, going to draw a lot of attention, and I wanted to put another ball handler um, into the game to uh, to get Steph off the ball. But you know, Dr Steph and Draymond are our leaders, and if uh, one of them's out, if both both of them's out, it's up to the entire team to pick up the slack and and uh, and help us execute. But uh, we did not execute. We didn't turn the ball over a ton, uh, 10 turnovers total, which is a really good number. But our shot selection, they must have blocked, felt like they blocked about 20 shots. Um, we just kept barreling into the lane trying to shoot over uh, Robinson and and, uh, and Noel. And, um, you know, our sense of drive and kicking was, was nowhere near where it needed to be. Surprising to you that you know after after last night was a game where you described it as as your best complete game on on both ends. Is it frustrating? Is it surprising to you that it it, it goes this way? It's hours it, it's frustrating. It's not surprising. We haven't proven anything, so we're not a good team. We're we're eight and seven. We're an, we're a mediocre team with with the potential to be a good team. And so, you know, good teams learn how to win um, with execution. And defense and rebounding, and you know, on nights when the ball's not going in the hoop, you find another way to win. So we're not that team yet. So that's the plan: is to become that team. 